In 1854, there were living on the streets of New York City over 10,000 orphaned, abandoned children. Out of this desperate situation was born the orphan train. This is a fictionalized account based on historical fact. you, Ben. We ain't going. But Reverend Sims promised. Reverend Sims ain't gonna take us no way. He's dead. So? So we ain't gonna go. Now, come on. the most vomit in two minutes is the winner. Hey, you said seven cents, not three. You're lucky to get that. The last one was half dead. But we're still breathing. Beat it, kid. Bevan's finished, gentlemen. Number one, going out. I said beat it. I threw your brother in next. Now get it. too bad, was it? Shall we try another? Uh, Rock of Ages? Where are you going, guinea boy? Run, Ben! Not so fast. Hand it over. Well, we only got three cents. Three cents is three cents. Now give it. I've been eating all day. Then go and eat mission slot with the rest of the runs. Can we 
Tony, please? like these others. They got me a mother. She's just busy. You're always welcome here, JT. Just so you know, I ain't no orphan. Where do they all come from, Mr. McGarity? The only time we see them is when we feed them. We missed you boys. Where have you been the last couple of weeks? Selling rats. How are you, Tony? All right. Tony says we can't take the train because your uncle died. He was going to find us a home. I guess that won't happen now, huh? I'm sorry. Eh, uh, we're getting pretty good at catching rats. You don't have to catch rats to get money for food you can eat here. Tony won't come unless he has to. He don't like it here no more. Father, but by me. Early, early, I say unto you. Hey, what's the rush? Slow down a bit. The guy's got friends. Let him say goodbye. Shut that boy up. Please, sir. Just for a minute. Take them. I'm my friend, and I want you to have them. City of New York, age 15, having been found guilty of burglary and assaulting an officer of the law with malice and cunning and without remorse, the court has sentenced you to be hanged from the neck until dead. heading west for homes and a new life. Evan Sims was a fine man. But he died too soon. He made promises he couldn't keep. 
He did everything possible. The children feel cheated. But a journey like that takes money and time. I can't go on giving those children a bowl of soup and sending them back into the streets. Forgive me, Mr. McGarity, but we can't keep looking the other way because we don't have the time or the money or because my uncle died too soon. No matter how many children we feed, it doesn't mean a thing if we lose a child like we did today. I stood there and watched a boy hang, and I couldn't do a thing about it. I don't care what it takes, I never want to feel that helpless again. I'm going to take those children on that train. Your uncle was a dear friend, Miss Sims. We spoke about the orphan train many times. It's a wonderful plan. I think it's touching. Very, very touching. Yes, yes, Gertie. Sit down, please. But Reverend Potter, the Bible tells us the poor ye have always with you. It's not within our power to change God's will. It can't be God's will to let innocent children suffer. But we're not talking about innocent children. What do you mean? Everybody knows, Reverend, most of these children are immigrants, misfits. Look at their parents. Most of them don't have parents. Miss Sims, please. It shouldn't matter where they come from. They need someone to take care of them. They need homes. Well, how do we know there are homes out west for them? These notices were sent by Reverend Sims before he died. We've gotten letters from people expressing... Letters don't mean a thing. Those people have never seen these children. But they've written us and they're interested. When you step off that train and these people see those children that you have brought them, how many do you think will want a child? I don't know. A bad child is a bad child. Families don't take bad children. Not here and not in the West. <laughs> Come on. do my balloon number while he swings on the trapeze. We catch the coach for Philadelphia. How long are you going to be gone? Josie. Don't call me that, Mom. It's JP. I don't like you dressing like a boy. I don't like it. It's the only way I can sell my papers. I don't mind. I always wanted to buy you the prettiest dresses. Pink silk and 
satin bows? Maybe someday, Mama. I ain't ever gonna make it on my own, sweetie. You ain't on your own, Mama. You got me. Just you and me ain't enough. I need Harry, huh? Gotta go with him now. You ain't coming back? I want to take you, uh, with me. I'd take you if I could, but Harry'd leave me flat. You know he don't like kids. Baby, I'm sorry. You gotta understand, a woman can't make it without a man. I ain't a baby no more, Mama. I'm almost 11. I got my papers. I'll be fine. Mama, I gotta go. times do I have to tell you to get away from the window? Sally's got a customer up there. Come on, hurry it up. Nice to see you again, Captain. Hello, my dear. It's been a long time. to steal my money, Flora. Sarah! Is that true? I believe you owe this gentleman an apology. Apologies ain't good enough, Flora. You're a bunch of crooks. Oh, now, Captain Schmidt, give this pretty little girl a chance. She ain't never apologized before. Ain't she sweet? You'd be her first apology. Well... Please, no. Come on now, Sarah. You be nice to this gentleman.
people that can help you. Come on. They'll feed you there. And I'll help you find a place to sleep. Better get yourself a dodge. Seven flowers or something. Just in case they don't get that train. What train? They want to take us out west to find families. Away from here? Yep. That'd be wonderful. Thank you. Save it. We ain't got the train yet. My husband has warehouses in Five Points, Emma. He says these children steal from him. If your two boys were hungry and homeless, they'd get into trouble, too. But if the churches won't help you... Nobody will help me, Jessica. In the last two weeks, I've contacted all my uncle's friends. Ministers and church groups, local merchants, several of the newspapers. They all agree it's a noble plan, very courageous. But none of them believe in me enough to give me the money. I don't know why a woman would want to do something like this, Emma. I'm not sure I understand you anymore. But you're my friend. How can I help you? The estate your father left is my husband's now. But surely Mr. Martin allows you. Mr. Martin buys my clothing and furnishes this house. But he never gives me any money and we never talk about it. I don't have anything that's mine to give. I don't know where else to go. Do you have any money at all? My uncle collected donations for the journey. But we need a railroad coach. You may not need it anymore. Newspapers can do a lot for the roads, Mr. Barrington. The right kind of story with the right journalist. How much is all this going to cost me? Uh, a railroad ticket to St. Louis, a couple of mules, a wagon for a dark room. When I hitch up with your survey team, Chemicals, negative plates. You're crazy. Not a chance. Why do you need all this useless equipment just to write a story? Pictures are better than words, Mr. Barrington. Don't move, please. Illustrated newspapers are starting up real soon now. Engravers need photographic material for their illustrations. I think it'll be good advertising. It may even help get the land grant from Congress. If my survey team is successful, I will not need photographs to get my land from Congress. Transcontinental Railroad isn't going to do you any good if people are afraid to ride your train. My trains are perfectly safe, Mr. Carlton. Get me to St. Louis in one piece and I'll prove it. Come in. Excuse me, sir. Miss Sims is still waiting. Did you give her my bank draft? She insists on seeing you. I'm busy. I told her that. She won't budge. Very well, think then. Show her in. What's it going to be, Mr. Barrington? I'll have to think about it. Don't move, please. Mr. Barrington? All right, thank you. Miss Sims, sit down. Thank you. Miss Sims. You have a very noble and a very worthy plan. You have received, I trust, my contribution. Yes, it was very generous. Yes, Mrs. Martin told my wife that you needed my help. We do. But what we need is a railroad coach. You see, we have a very large group of children, and we've only collected enough money for the journey. Perhaps you could... Miss Sims, I cannot donate an entire railway coach. I run a business, not a charity. Now, you have received my bank draft. Yes, but what we need is... Miss Sims, you have received my donation. Yes, but perhaps you could... Excuse me, Miss Sims, but I'm a very busy man. Good day. Tried smiling. 
pretty woman can get a lot more with a smile. Excuse me, Mr. Uh... Carlin, Frank Carlin. I'm a uh, photographer, uh, journalist. For the newspapers? Yes. Wait a minute. Now, don't be mad at me because Farrington said no. The newspapers said no, too. What is it you're trying to do that causes everyone to say no? I'm trying to take a group of orphans west to find homes. That's a good story. Where'd you get an idea like that? From my uncle. He was a minister of God. Oh, <laughs> God sure as hell can't get you a train. But I can. What did you say? I'm going to get you on that train. Why are you doing this? You ever been on a train before? No. Do you know who rides the trains? Salesmen, insurance men. They swear, drink, drink whiskey, gamble. It's dirty and dangerous. And uncomfortable. Now, if you put a woman with some kids in the middle of all that, that's real drama, human interest, and that's what sells newspapers. You're not doing this for me and the children. You're doing it for yourself. If you make it, it's good for you. It's good for Barrington. And if you don't make it, that sells newspapers too. I don't like you, Mr. Carlin. <laughs> you don't have to like me. But you're going to be on that train. Children, listen. I have wonderful news. Our prayers have been answered. We're going west. We have our own railroad coach to take us there. We leave in three days. See, I told you we'd go. We ain't there yet. I want you all to go out and spread the word. Tell anybody who's interested to come here right away. But we'll never be ready in three days. There's no clothing for them, no supplies. A journalist got us the railroad coach. He's writing a story about the children. And we've got to be on that train. Well, I'll go talk to the local merchants. Tell them if they... If they don't help us, I'll pray for their damnation. I reckon if our cause is just, the Lord will forgive a little blackmail. Miss Sims, I can't find Sarah. She wouldn't just take off. She was in trouble. Do you know where she lived? She wouldn't go back there. She hates it. Where? Madam Flores. I keep telling you, lady, we ain't got no Sarah here. Well, Mayor, talk with Flora. Yeah. I don't know where else to look. Is there anybody who can help us? Liverpool. Mouse will know where to find him. I told you I was here. You're Danny's friend. What do you want? I'm looking for a girl named Sarah. You think I've got her? She's in trouble. I'd like to help. Like you did Danny. I couldn't help Danny. I'm sorry. I don't know nothing, lady. Now get out of here. I'm taking the children west to find homes. Sarah wants to come with us. Just you and her runs. Yes. Ain't you gonna get lonely? You're not funny, young man. I ain't trying to be. And I ain't that young. When's the last time you ate, Liverpool? Or slept? How I live's my business. What happens when they catch you? They ain't gonna catch me. I ain't ending up like Danny. If you stay here, you will. And it's a waste, because you don't have to live like this. Things are different out west. It's a new land. It's filled with hope. You can be anything you want, and I'd like to help you get there. I don't need your help, lady. But Sarah does. If you know where she is, please tell me. She's at Flora's. Jake grabbed her in the alley. Now get out of here. Thank you. We leave in three days, if you change your mind. Get out of here. Go on, get out. <laughs> Sit down, Miss Sims. This is a real pleasure.
pleasure. I very seldom get to visit with a proper lady like yourself. If I have to, I will go to the police. Oh, I'm afraid that won't help. That's why I pay him each week. I'm not leaving here until I see Sarah. Why the interest, Miss Sims? Sarah doesn't belong here. She needs a family. She's got a family. I've been taking care of that little girl ever since her mother slit her throat. <laughs> Sarah owes me a lot now. She's old enough, she can pay it back. You take her away and I, I lose a lot of money. How much? How much is she worth to you? You sell things here. Sell me Sarah. $200. That's impossible. Not if you want her enough, it ain't. Oh, Sarah, dear. This lady's here to see you. I knew you'd come. Sarah, you gonna find me a home? You've already got a home, Sarah. Here. Here, take it. That's not enough. I told you $200. Please. Oh, save your breath, lady. Wait! Here. Go on, take it. Where did you get that? Take it all, all of it. Fetch her things. She doesn't have anything. She does now. I was so arrogant, mm -hmm. so smug about all that I had accomplished. God has punished me for my pride. You had no choice. I would have done the same. Back to work, children. Come on, please. We have a lot to do. Come along. Come along, children. Back to work. That's it. These are some of my boys' oh. clothes. I hope they fit. Would you put them over here, please? Thank you. Thank you. They're so thin. I didn't realize I know. Much. Perhaps you shouldn't have come. I wanted to say goodbye before you left tomorrow. We're not going. Why not? I spent the money for the journey. Emma. I bought a child with it. The one over there in white. She was in trouble, Jessica. I know you don't understand. It's a different world down here. Maybe I was wrong, but I couldn't walk away and leave her there. You weren't wrong. What are these for? The train. But your husband. Lost jewels can be replaced. Who does she think she is? Coming in here and snatching our children off the streets. Selling them into slaves, that's what she's doing. Where do you think you're going? Right. Ha, you ain't going nowhere. Good morning, boys. Come and get your clean clothes right around here. That's it. Hurry it up. What's it to you? Shove off, that's what. Bruce. Baths first, JP. I can't, I'll get pneumonia. No, you won't. Go on. Boys, your clothes for everyone. You need to fight Bruce. Tell him stop this. Who? 
The police. You gonna help them? given me permission to take you with us. You can stay here and wait to be sentenced, or you can come with us on a train. Ain't much of a choice. It's all you've got, Liverpool. We leave in an hour. It's up to you. Everybody to stay close together and follow me. Perhaps you better stay here and watch the mission. I can still take the children if you want, Miss Sims. Thank you for everything, Mr. McGarity. We'll miss you. <laughs> You'll do fine. You're in my prayers. Ready, children? Yes, Miss. Sims. Let's go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Gonna run. Not yet. Late, ma'am. This way, please. Nice to see you later, Miss Sims. Mr. Careful with those chemicals. Some mistake. That's where I was told to put you. But this isn't fit for cattle. Well, you're going to have to get on, ma'am. This train is leaving. Board! All aboard! Train number seven, westbound. Board! Are we going or not? Gonna leave. 
All right. In you go. While we travel here, this has to be our home, not a pigsty. So let's find a way to keep it in order. The mattresses should all go against the wall. Tony, you be in charge of that. All right, girls. Ben, no, this is our drinking water. We have to save it. Elsie, what are you... No, no, no. You're gonna make a fire for us. It's getting cold in here. It's too dangerous to have a fire in here. Let me have them. Let me have all of them. Didn't you see the sign? I can't read. What does it say? It says, don't play with matches. Let me clean you up. JP, those are for supper. We all eat together. Put them back. But I'm hungry now. I said, please put them back. I don't understand you. Halten Sie nicht so viel Stahl. Schnell halten Sie. I don't know what you want. JP, what is he saying? How should I know? It ain't English. What did you stand in there for? Give me a hand. I gotta go. Then go. There's a big guy standing there. He won't let me. Where do you think you're going? The Jake. I'm next. Move off. Hey. Hey, what? You don't got a shuffle. Oh, yeah. Hey, you. Pick on someone your own size. I don't see nobody my own size. Well, you ain't looking hard enough. Boys, please. Stop at this minute. Listen to me. I told you to stop. Bruce. Yeah. Never please stop it. Stop it. Oh, God. 
God's creatures and it's time we acted like it. I want you to give me that knife. What knife? Don't be smart, I saw it. I ain't got no knife, you were dreaming. Let me go, you break them off. Mr. Carlin, please. You don't break up fights reading them the Bible. I could have handled this on my own. I don't need your help. You did when you wanted this train. You're right, Mr. Carlin. I appreciate this coach you got us. When Barrington promised the railroad coach. I had no idea. I think it would be best, Mr. Carlin, if you just did your job and allowed me to do mine. Fine. Children, this is Mr. Carlin. He's a newspaper man and a picture taker. He's going to be writing about our journey. I used to work for the papers, selling them on the corner. What's your name? JP. JP. JP what? Nothing, just JP. What's his name? That's Liverpool. From England? Could be. What was it like coming over here by ship? Oh, fine and dandy. My daddy was the skipper. He used to give us tea and crumpets every day at noon. What do you think life's going to be like where you're going? We're going to have families and a real bed to sleep in. And cows and chickens and horses. That's the best. Horses. What about work? Sure, we got to work. We'll be eating good now. Fresh food right off the farm. Who told you that? You ever been on a farm? You told the children what life is like on a farm? There's green pastures and plenty of sunshine. You get up at dawn, you work until dusk. Your arms ache, your back feels like it's breaking. The winters are freezing cold and the summer's scorching hot. Sometimes when the crops don't come in, there's no food. You said we'd always get food. Will they beat us if we can't do the work? I won't let you go with people like that. Spend a half hour in a town, you expect to tell the difference between a good farm and a cruel one? I trust in God to let me know the difference. Miss Sims, I only know what I've seen. Stop putting pretty little ideas in their heads. The West is hard. There's nothing pretty about where you're going. Once again, Mr. Carlin, you've been more than helpful. Well, I was only trying Please, to... Please, stop helping. Mr. Carlin, why do you disapprove of what I'm doing? Look, come out for anything that makes a story. Maybe you'll make it, maybe you won't. I just don't care much for pious ladies telling the poor that the world can be a lovely place. Thank you for your opinion. Next time I'll know better than to ask. You ain't never been out west, have you? No, I haven't. But well, then how do you know what's waiting for us? I have letters from the people in the towns we're stopping at. Kilgore, Clayhorn, Jenkins Grove. We have to keep faith, children. Be grateful for what we have. Count your blessings, remember? Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Come on, Mouse, you remember this one. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings. Come on, everybody. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your many blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings. Just a bad dream. 
Don't worry. I'll see that you and Tony go together. Now go back to sleep. Everything will be all right. Tony? Because he ain't from here. We ain't from here, but we speak it. But nobody teached him. Dutch, you gotta learn English. It's very important. You understand? Important. Important. That's good, Dutch. What happened to your leg? I don't know. It's always been like this. Does it hurt? Nah. Well, sometimes if I walk too much on it. I think you walk pretty good. Good enough so people won't notice and will want me? I think so. Sure, it'll be nice to have a mama again. Wanna try? We could teach you. Nah, that's for girls. Right, who's next then? JP? I gotta go to the Jake. Yeah? I gotta go. So go, I ain't using it. I'll wait.
Miss Sims, I can't find JP. Did you check the... I checked everywhere. He's gone. Excuse me, Mr. Carlin. One of the children is missing. Have you seen J.P.? Yeah, I've seen him. He was in here going through my things. Where is he? I hit him a good one. He took off out of here. You hit him? You had no right to hit that child. That child shouldn't have been in here. Where were you, napping? Which way did he go? He's all right. He ran back to you for protection. He didn't. He isn't back there. It's not... Nice. Get to work. Watch out for the glass. Phew. It smells. What is it? Collodion. Gun cotton, alcohol, and ether. Hey, you take that and you brush it like this on one of these. And that makes the picture very sensitive to light. And that's how pictures are made. Different shades of light. Just up and left you, huh? I don't blame her. It's pretty tough bringing up a child all by yourself, you know. Yeah. You miss her? longer. 
soon, Mouse. Are we almost there? Almost. This place we're trying to reach. What's it called again? Kilgore. Sure is a funny name for a town. Bet they take the pretty ones first. You're in trouble if they do. Do I look pretty, Miss Sims? Very pretty, Annie. I have a mirror if you like. What's the matter, Miss Sims? I have a little locket. My mother gave it to me. It's not here. Maybe you forgot to bring it. Perhaps it's been misplaced. Probably. Look like much. Don't look like nothing. Ain't nobody else. Is this the town of Kilgore? Yes, ma'am, if you want to call it that. What's all that? Orphans from New York. Oh, yeah. We got a notice they was coming. Where's that? Indiana. Town of Clayhorn. Clayhorn County. My name's Jed Clayhorn. Frank Collins. Do a little farming out there, huh? 1,800 acres. Well, that sounds like you can use some extra hands. Yep. But not that bunch. Ain't nobody wants that slum trash. I'm Miss Sims from the Children's Rescue Mission. I'm looking for a Reverend Hartley, please. He ain't here, ma'am. But he's expecting me. He wrote me this letter. Went east about a month ago. It's bad times in these parts, ma'am. Lots of people moving on. I brought a trainload of children from New York City. He said there would be families waiting for us. Ain't nobody here, ma'am. Sorry. <gasps> How long do we have here? As soon as we take on wood and water, ma'am, we pull out. Thank you. You getting off here? No. How come? There's nobody here for us. Where are all those people who wrote you? I don't know. But there are other towns, children. This is just one. Let's get back on the train. Somebody stop that boy! Where do you think you're going? I'm getting out of here. This is only one town, Liverpool. How far do you think you'll get? Look around. There's no one here to steal from. There's no trash to pick through. There's nothing here. At least we have food and shelter. I ain't listening to no more of your rubbish. I ain't like those runts. I can make it on my own. All right. I thought I could help you. But I didn't bring you on this train to transfer you from one prison to another. I'll be your friend, your teacher, if you like, but I will not be your jailer. So if you want to run, go on, go on. I'm not going to stop you. Go on! Go on! All aboard!
get everybody back on the train. guiding us through this day. Amen. Amen. Mouse, will you help me with the bread, please? Mouse, we have to get up early in the morning. What happens if nobody shows up again? We have to have faith. Tomorrow, every one of you could be picked. If somebody picks me, do I gotta go? We've come a long way. Don't you want a family? Yeah. Except if everybody gets picked tomorrow, you'll be all alone. There's still a lot of children back at the mission, and Mr. McGarrity. But they're not really yours. You need somebody of your own, a family. I'm not married, Mouse. How come? A very nice gentleman asked me once, and I said no. How come? Because my uncle was sick and he needed my help with the mission. How come you didn't marry him after your uncle died? He married another girl. How come? I guess he didn't want to wait. How come? Good night, Mouse. Go to sleep. Miss Sims. I would have waited. Thank you, Mouse. over these children. Protect them. 
with you, Lord. Help me. Nobody gonna be looking at your face, Gimpy. Thank you, Sarah. We're coming in! Look, people! that, please. I'm just going to take your photograph. Oh, that's a good photo. Thank you. from the children's rescue mission. These are the children we've written to you about. They ain't much to look at. Quiet, Dickie. Let the woman speak. We ask that the children stay with you until the age of 18. They must be treated in the same manner as your own children, in schooling, clothing, and family life. The boys, 15 or older, are expected to work for room and board. What kind of work? They look real scrawny to me. Dickie, this ain't no cattle auction. We ask that you report by letter at least once a year. If a child is mistreated or, or unsatisfactory, the Children's Rescue Mission will terminate the agreement and a new home will be found. Is there anyone here who would like to select a child?
What's your name, son? Mouse, sir. <laughs> mouse? Because you're so small? And I got big ears. You eat like a mouse, too? Yes, sir. I don't eat much. Well, you know, my wife, she likes to stuff her young ones now. That wouldn't be any problem for you, would it? No, sir. That'd be good. girls at home, but my husband has always wanted a son. Gets a little lonesome at times when you're the one man of the family. Be obliged if you can make it too. No, no, no. Uh, I have to stay with Ben. We'd be good to you, son. You see, these two boys are brothers. They must go together. But we can't afford to take them both. Can you just stand right in here? Huh? What is your name, boy? You have a name? Something is wrong with this boy. Oh, I'm sorry. He doesn't speak any English. Ja, wir können ihn nicht nehmen. Der Junge spricht kein Englisch. Sie sprechen Deutsch. Ich bin Deutsch. You speak German? Yes. wonderful. Just hold it while I focus this. Taking a picture? JP, I'm trying to. Can I watch? Well, I'm a little busy, so why don't you go over there and find yourself a family? I ain't seen nobody I like yet. Show me how to work this thing. Why? Because. All right, come on over here. Don't touch anything. Here, look under here. All right, now hold that. How old you say you were? Thirteen. Real grown up looking, too. You stay right here. I'll be back. I'll be right back. What's the matter? Sarah? I've got a barber shop just down the road. My wife's been ailing. Poor creature. She hasn't been out of bed these past six months. Don't let Sarah go with him. This man wishes to adopt her. What's the matter with you? Look at her face. Excuse me for a minute, please. Don't you want to go with Mr. Dunlop? I'll do what you tell me. You're a person, Sarah, not a thing for me to give away. That look, Miss Sims, he'll use me. What do you mean, I can't have her? That is what I said. What is it? Money? We place our children, sir, where it is suitable. They are not for sale. You boy, come here. You ever done any real work, boy? Yeah. Seems mighty soft to me. Touch me again, I'll break your arm. What'd you do that for? If I can swat him, I can swat you, boy. But I won't show any favors. Fair enough. You going all the way with us? To Deer Creek, Illinois. Then what? They'll be switching the passenger coach. I'll be headed south to St. Louis. You gonna stay there? I'm gonna join the survey team, and then I'll be headed west over the Rockies. California? Yep. No, with all this equipment, you sure could use yourself a helper. Somebody who's small, who wouldn't be in your way. A helper, huh? Sure love to see California someday. Stop hitting and help me with my stuff. 
Been guzzling beer as long as I can remember. Smoking cigars since I was seven. I'm a three-time jailbird, twice for stealing and once for assaulting an officer of the law. Any of you got any pretty daughters? What are you doing? Just telling them the truth. Go over there with the other children. Sarah. Here are the regulations and the society's address. Please be sure to write to us at least once a year. I'll write you too, Miss Sims. As soon as I learn how. I'd like that. Goodbye, Liverpool. Thank you so much. Dutch, Tom, Elsie, God bless all of you. Bye. Bye.
Miss? Sarah, it's late. You should be asleep. I tried, but I can't. Can I sit with you till I get sleepy? All right. My mother had pretty hair like yours. She used to brush it every night. Mine did, too. Where's your mom now? She died when I was very little. And your pa? He's dead, too. You're like us, then? Yes, I guess I am. where you are. Hold it right there, lady. Pardon? Ain't no one getting off this train. But I have business here. Nobody in this town's interested in your business. Well, I have a letter here from a family. Family? Name of what? Barnett. Mr. and Mrs. Isaiah Barnett. Well, now it looks like they ain't showed up. I guess that settles that. Close up that door, boy. What about those others? I'm sure some of them have come for children. Lady, nobody's interested in them children. You can't speak for a whole town, Mr... Clayhorn. Nevertheless, one man is not an entire town. Liverpool, will you please help me down? This here's a good town. We reckon to keep it that way. You can just pack up all those little beggars and go back where you come from. I'm Miss Sims from the Children's Rescue Mission. I have children here who now need... Now listen here. I've been on that train with this woman and I've seen what she brought. Pickpockets, liars, thieves. They're children. Children? This child here has been in jail three times. Please, just look at the children, talk with them, and then decide. You can't know until you've met them. It's my land most of you are renting. If any of you see fit to take one of these children, well, you can just pack up and go. Please, give them a chance. May the Lord forgive you. Forgive me? It's yourself you've got to blame. Who asked you to bring them out here anyhow? Wow. 
lot of his eggs, but lost first. <laughs> <laughs> Are we getting off? We're not welcome here. Seems we're not welcome most places. Get ready! It'll be all right, just drop the knife. Leave me you be. take it easy. This is my fight. Stay out of it. No, Liverpool. They started it, I'll finish it. Liverpool, don't. Use that knife and nobody wins. Don't let the stupidity of these boys make you do something just as stupid. Something you'll regret your whole life. You can't fight ignorance like this with a knife. Don't prove a man like Clayhorn right. Put the knife away, Liverpool. It's the only way you win. Guess we killed them, huh? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> got a bloody nose. Come on, now stop crying. I didn't take you to be a crybaby. I'm not a baby. Well, then be a man. I don't want to be a man. I'm a girl. What? I'm a girl, Miss Sims. A girl. It's all right, JP. It's all right to be a girl. Let's go back to the train. You all right? I'm fine. Why? Why? Clayhorn uh, kicks you out of his town. JP tells you he's a girl and... She's a girl. She's a girl and Liverpool threatens you with a knife and you say you're fine. I think you're quite a lady. I was scared for you today when you had that knife. 
Was you scared? I ain't never scared. Never? Well, maybe sometimes. But I never show it. If people know you're hurting inside, they hurt you even more. You've got to stay tough, Sarah. But things is different now. We don't got to be tough all the time. Not anymore. See what happens. You need some more help? No, we got plenty of help. Oh, no. Children all right back there? Yeah, they are now. never brought them on this train. It was an accident. I thought I could do this, but I can't. I just can't. Come on now. You have a lot of courage, lady. Don't sell yourself short. I never thought you had it, but you do. You're doing just fine. I'm sorry. For crying? Keep a lot inside you, Miss Sims. Person's got to let up every now and then. There's nothing wrong with showing folks how you feel. I have so much to be grateful for. <laughs> <laughs> My mother used to say, everything is the worst at night. You can't count your blessings in the dark. <laughs> You're turning religious on me, Mr. Carlin. Not a chance, Miss Sims. Well. Well, thank you. My pleasure. Good night, Mr. Carlin. Good night, Miss Sims.
this here, that's the whistle. May I blow it? You sure can. like me. What do you mean? Since I told you I was a girl. I don't know. You're still a little pesky and you ask a lot of questions. As far as I can see, nothing's changed. That's good. Thanks. Nice. my equipment and don't touch. I know. Nice country out here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Mind if I take your photograph? I'll get the children. No, just you is fine. Just relax, Miss Sims. All you have to do is look into this little mirror. That's all it is, a mirror with a memory. You enjoy taking pictures, don't you? There's something special about a photograph. Holding it in your hands, all the places you've been to, the people you've met. It's a nice feeling, being able to capture something and keep it forever. Hold that. That's nice. You have a pretty smile, Miss Sims. You don't use it enough. I think we should be getting back to... Be a while before we leave. Take a walk with me. I have to get back to the children. Thank you, Mr. Carlin. Say the yes. What happened to JP? Uh, passenger coach leaves tomorrow, and I'll be on it, and, uh, you want to come along, help me with my pictures. You're not going on with us? Headed over the Rockies with a transcontinental survey team. What about your story here? I have enough photographs. I'll write the story when I get to St. Louis. 
I don't know why JP's so upset. She knew my plans. She's grown very fond of you, Mr. Carlin. It isn't easy at that age. I never promised her anything. Children don't need words. Why didn't you take a walk with me yesterday? Pardon? You heard me. Why didn't you take a walk with me yesterday? I had to watch the children. How many more towns, Miss Sims? Deer Creek tomorrow and one more after that. What if you can't place all the children? I can. I hope I can. I think you're hoping you can. What? What if I don't join that survey team? And I wait around and, uh, until you place all the children, find them homes. If we could take the train back to New York together. When it's just you and me, Miss Sims. Would you take a walk with me then? You need these children. They're the only thing between you and the world. Maybe you're right, Mr. Carlin. People find the strangest things to hide behind. Like children and cameras. You know very well you wouldn't take that train with me back to New York. Would you? My father always wanted to be a sailor. But he had a wife and six children instead. He spent a lifetime just looking at the sea, wishing. You do well in California. Thank you, Miss Here we go. Now, honor your partner. Go forward. Come back. Sashay half around. Go forward. Come back. Sashay back to play. Neighbors, 
It's my pleasure to announce that Mr. and Mrs. Charlie Bradshaw are taking this child. That makes five. <laughs> now, everybody, choose your partner for some more dancing. Just look at her, Adam. Please. That one, in the plaid dress. Yes, I know she's got something funny with her leg. That's part of why I want her. She's the one who needs us the most. Adam, we can't mourn forever. It'll be two years since our Becky died. If the Lord had wanted us to have young ones, he would have let us keep the one we had. Miss Sims is going to miss us. No, she won't. She's busy. But there's nice people here. We can get us a family. We don't need nobody but us, sir. I'll take care of you. But you and me's too young to be a family. We ain't all grown up yet. Be nice to have a home for a while, at least. Will you wait for me while we grow up, sir? If you want me to. I do. They're leaving. Yeah, Mr. Carlin didn't even say goodbye. JP, where are you going? We'd love to have you both, but all we can take is one. You're a dear. A perfect little brother for our Jesse. You want to go? Go on, I'll be all right. You might not get another chance. We stay together, Miss Simpson. <laughs> JP! What you doing here? I thought you was going to St. Louis. Well, I decided to stay on to the Johnson Crossing and, and get the stage. Yeah, something I forgot to do. For me? Uh-huh. Taking me with you is because I'm a girl. Nah, that's got nothing to do with it. Doesn't matter what you are, I can't take anybody with me. I travel alone. Truth? Absolutely. Don't laugh at me if I wear this. People only laugh at you when you're trying to be something that you aren't. What's the JP stand for? Josephine Priscilla. Oh, well, pleased to meet you, Josie.
thank you and God bless you. Billy Goat Chop, the old Dan Tucker fell on a stop. Honor your partner. Now swap and trade. Swing her high, swing her low, swing her left, elbow. Thank you for doing this. boys, here we go. Sashay around. Left pull by, swing your own right elbow. Now promenade. Promenade, keep on a going around you do. <laughs> oh, Dan Tucker came to town, swinging them pretty girls round and round. First to the right and then to the left, then to the girl that he loves best. Swing your own right elbow. Now here we go. Now honor the partner. Now you swap, now you trade your pretty gal for my old maid. Swing her boy and around you do, swing her boy and here we do. Now face her, sashay around. Left pull by, swing your own right elbow. Here you go in the promenade. Oh, Dan Tucker came What's the name, girl? Annie. Think you like it here? Yes. I love Swing Illinois. Here we go. safe journey, Mr. Carlin. You're in our prayers. Thank you, Miss Sills. Good luck in the next town. Milford is our last stop. Well, you'll do fine. When I write that story in St. Louis, I'm giving it a happy ending. Here she comes. I get a goodbye? Hmm? 
Come on, it'll be all right. I don't want you to leave. I have people meeting me in St. Louis. I have a story to write, photographs to take. But I don't want you to go. When you have something special to do in life, you've got to do it. Back there in Kilgore when no one showed up, what if Miss Sims just quit, turned around and went back to New York? What would have happened to you? Well, I have something that I must do. I'm a newspaper man. A good one. When you grow up, you're going to find something special that you want to do. But I don't want anything special. I just want to go with you. I can't give you what you need, Josephine. I wish that I could, but I can't. Some of the photographs I've taken, I'd like you to have them. Oh, thank you. It's beautiful. <laughs> and Sarah. <laughs> oh, look at Mass. This is my favorite. That look. That's the woman in you, Miss Sims. That's the look I was after. I'd like to keep it if you don't mind. Thank you. My Christian name is Emma.
make it go away. Please make it stop. Shh, Ben, it's all right. It's just a storm. It'll pass. Everything will be all right. We run into a mudslide and broke the cylinder cocks. Can it be fixed? No, I don't have anything to fix them with. Well, what do we do? Can you go for help? I have to stay with the engine, but if we don't make Milford, they'll send help. How long will that be? Could be days. Days? The people won't wait. This is our last chance, Miss Ann. How far is Milford? Fifteen miles. We can walk that. Fifteen miles? We can do it. Maybe there's families waiting for us. I'll go, Miss Sims. I'll get help. No. We'll all go. We've come a long way. We should stay together. Let's get our things.
Can we make it? I think so. Come on, Ben. Not too. Let's go. Come on, pick it up. A nice steady march step. Oh, Dan Tucker's a fine old man. Washed his face in a frying pan. Combed his hair with a wagon wheel. And died with a toothache in his heel. Get out of the way, old Dan Tucker. Get out of the way, old Dan Tucker. Get out of the way, old Dan Tucker. You're too late to get your supper. I can't go no farther. Come on, Sarah, I'll help you. I can't. We've got to stop for a while. Sarah ain't gonna make it if we don't rest. We have to go on. If we stop, we won't start again. Let me take it. It's my turn now. How far till we get there? I don't know. Seems like we walked a million miles. This town we're trying to reach, is this the last one on the line? What if they don't want us in Milford? Well, they gotta take us. If they don't, we we'll keep going, all of us. I don't care how many towns we have to go to or how many people we have to see. We won't quit until you all have homes. That's right. You'll see. We'll all get homes. Tony? I'm here, Ben. Are we almost there? Yes, Ben. Oh, Ben Tucker is a fine old man. Washed his face in a frying pan. Combed his hair with a wagon wheel. Died from a toothache in his heel. Get out of the way, old Dan Tucker. They're coming. We made it. It's the town. People, the town.
Ben Santini, taken in by a family named Pippert, grew up to be town blacksmith, married Esther Jenkins, fathered six children. Tony Santini, also taken in by the Pippert family, grew up to be proprietor of Milford General Store, later circuit judge of Rock Island County. Sarah Welch married Dr. W.A. Grundy, nine children, 27 grandchildren, lived to the age of 91. J.P., Josephine Priscilla Campbell, attended Oberlin College, became one of the first female members of the faculty, professor of English literature. Donald Liverpool Burrell farmed until he joined the Union Army in 1860. A sergeant in the 9th Illinois Regiment, he was killed in action at the Battle of Shiloh. After this first journey, the arrival of orphaned and abandoned children became a regular and welcomed event in rural communities along the railway lines. Between 1854 and 1900, over 100,000 children were placed out in homes across America.